Recently, a tropical storm or cyclone named Ma On hit the northern Philippines, injured at least three people and displaced thousands. So, in this video, we will discuss in detail what are tropical cyclones, how they are formed, and their different names. Storm is a generic term popularly used to describe a large variety of atmospheric disturbances ranging from ordinary rain, showers, snow storms to thunderstorms and wind related disturbances such as gales, tornadoes, tropical cyclones and sandstorms. Tropical cyclones are confined to 10 degree to 30 degree north and south of the equator. Tropical cyclones are low pressure systems that form over warm tropical waters. They typically form when the sea surface temperature is above 26.5 degrees Celsius. Tropical cyclones can continue for many days, even weeks, and may follow quite erratic paths. A cyclone will dissipate once it moves over land or over cooler oceans. Tropical cyclones are limited to small areas, typical size 100 to 500 kilometers in diameter. It varies with the strength of the cyclone. Tropical cyclones bring heavy rainfall but do not last beyond a few hours. If the cyclone stays at a place, the rainfall may continue for many days but doesn't last for more than a week. The velocity of wind in tropical cyclones is much greater. It can be 100 to 250 km per hour and 200 to 1200 km per hour in upper troposphere. It causes great destruction due to winds, storm surges and torrential rains. The tropical cyclones move from east to west away from equator. Their movement in Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal is a bit different. The temperature at the center is almost equally distributed. The center of the tropical cyclone is known as I. The wind is calm at the center with no rainfall. Now let's see how tropical cyclones are formed. Tropical cyclones are formed only over warm ocean water near the equator. When warm, moist air over the ocean rises upward, from near the surface, a cyclone is formed. When the air rises up and away from the ocean surface, it creates an area of low air pressure below. It causes the air from surrounding areas with higher pressure to move toward the low pressure area, which further leads to warming up of the air and causes it to rise above. As the warm, moist air rises, and cools the water in the air form clouds. The complete system of clouds and wind spins and grows along with the ocean's heat and water evaporating from the ocean surface. As the wind system rotates with increasing speed, an eye gets formed in the middle. The center of a cyclone is very calm and clear with very low air pressure. The difference of temperature between the warm rising and the cooler environment causes the rain to rise causes the air to rise and become beyond when the wind speed is 63 km per hour the storm is called a tropical storm whereas when the speed reaches 119 km per hour the storm is officially a tropical cyclone or hurricane the coriolis force causes the wind to spiral around a low pressure area as the presence of Coriolis force is negligible in the equatorial belt between 5 degrees north and 5 degrees south latitudes, hence cyclone systems do not develop in this region. Now let us see the other names of the cyclone. The cyclone is known to have different names in different regions of the world. In Caribbean Sea, it is called hurricanes. In China Sea, it is called typhoons. Indian Ocean, it is called tropical cyclones. In Japan, it is called typhoon. Northern Australia it is called Willy Willies. In Philippines it is called Beigo. In USA it is called Tornadoes. That's all in today's session. See you soon.